This is my Max for Human History Vlog and Blog. The best Blu ray movies of all time, okay? Here we are. Best quality Blu ray of all time. Here we're gonna go. Sit back, relax, we vlog and blog for the next 10 minutes or so. Magic Mike. So, the best quads Blu ray movies of all time. Here we're gonna go. <laughs> getting these with a 4k television with a ps4 plug it into your, your blu-ray player basically into your xbox one x player whatever you got basically as well and obviously with a 4k tv and whatever you got basically a ps4 xbox one x regular blu-ray player whatever you've got basically with a 4k television and do invest in 4k seriously you get an amazing picture okay often up to 2k level basically okay even with a regular blu-ray like this seriously so it's really worth investing in blu-ray as i say even though they're quite cheap to say some of little as a pound basically seriously if you go to some of those shops like cx kind of, kind of cheap shops will go on ebay that kind of stuff will go on amazon whatever some of Blu-ray is listed as a pound, seriously, and you can really, really get amazing quick picture quality, seriously, on your 4K TV series. So obviously, worth checking out. So get yourself Blu for, uh, PS4, regular Blu-ray Blu 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 player, Xbox One X, whatever, and also 4K television. Spend a few hundred dollars on a 4K TV, basically. So it's something about 60, 60 inches, 70 inches, whatever, 50 inches, whatever you want to get, basically. You know, get a bigger into one, basically. And you can get a really amazing picture on one of these, these TV series, there, okay? Now, starting, okay, with one of a couple of years ago, this is John Wick. This is John Wick uh, 3, John Wick 2, okay? This came out... Still the labels on like these. These come out obviously about a couple of years ago. This the job two came out. I think it came out in uh, twenty. I've got a label on this now, actually. Came out in twenty or forty actually. This this uh, Blu-ray set. The twenty fifth, twenty fifteen thing. Seriously, this, this is John Wick two. Okay, one really, really good movie. Seriously, you can see it on the lights really clearly over there. John Wick two, really good film. So also John Wick three as well. This came out a couple of years ago. John Wick three as well. Both these movies are really really good. Seriously, really good movies. Seriously, okay. I'm stuck with John Wick three. John Wick three. There's some of that okay over there. It's a really good film. Seriously, John Wick three. Okay, but it's really worth having these kind of movies. They're really good movies indeed. Okay, with uh, good old Keanu Reeves in as well. Seriously, legendary best stopping it says over here. It's got quite a few actors in it in this one, as I say, in this one. Look at who's in this movie, actually. Quite a few people in this movie, seriously. Clear of Kirkwood, Ruiz, Chas Zelensky, uh, John Wick, of course, Halle Berry, and that's Parallel, it's called, seriously. Lawrence Fish was in as well. So it's a really good film, seriously. Do check out the light over there. This film's really amazing. This, this again, is, uh, this, I've got this movie for about six, seven dollars, basically. And it's an amazing Blu-ray, seriously, okay. It's really amazing. The depth's amazing, the colour's amazing, the, the texture's getting really, really good, seriously. The light's really good in it, the reflection on knee, all that kind of stuff, and the surfaces, that kind of stuff. I think somebody's from the desert as well. It's an amazing Blu-ray, seriously. It's John Wick number three, okay. John Wick two, okay, which is on the floor over there. <laughs> a good film, seriously, as well. John Wick, John Wick two is excellent as well, seriously. I think John Wick two probably the best I've ever seen, actually, in some ways. John Wick two itself. Okay, if I can get it. It's probably, uh, John Wick 2 probably is one of the best I've seen, seriously, John Wick 2 is over here, this is somewhere here, okay. And John Wick 2 is also amazing, seriously, in 2014, 2015 that this film, as I say. I really recommend this, seriously, John Wick 2 as well, really good film as well, seriously, okay. Both movies are really, really good, okay, quality's really high, I mean, the picture quality of this is stunning, seriously. Some of the neons and some of the neon lights, for the bit of the car chase, being up John Wick 2 are really amazing, seriously, okay. So do check that, really, really recommend that, John Wick, John Wick 2, John Wick 3, but John Wick 1's good as well. I thought 2 and 3 were really a little bit better, seriously, but do check both movies out, they're really fantastic movies, seriously. Do check, do check them out. The quality of the Blu-ray is stunning, seriously. You get them as little as about three or four dollars, seriously, three or four pounds, seriously. And it's as good as anything I've seen, so you don't have to pay £30 for a 4K transfer sort of thing, you know what I mean? Come out about seven years ago, Oblivion. Okay, this is Tom Cruise movie over here. Some of that movie, indeed. We really love this movie, seriously. Sequel to Tron Legacy. Remember Tron Legacy a few years ago, uh, ten years ago. This Tron Legacy was good. Blu-ray's not so hot. Tron Legacy. I've been a Blu-ray expert myself. I love Blu-ray. 
This, I got this Blu-ray again for about three pounds. It's amazing, seriously. The quality is still okay. The picture quality is sharp as a sharp as a nail, basically. Sharp as a tap. The, the, the quality in this Blu-ray. Okay, the sound's fantastic. Sound stage of 5.1 DTX. Most of it's fantastic. A sound stage and it's seriously okay. It's 5.1 surround sound. Amazing stuff. Seriously, absolutely love it. Okay. Uh, okay, a lot of people I think this this film starts a lot of people, doesn't it? Uh, Tom Cruise, of course, is the main star, of course, along with um, can't read them all here. But a lot of them here, seriously, okay. Morgan Freeman's as well, seriously. Really good film, so living really good movie indeed. A lot of shootouts, a lot of kind of uh, aliens flying around the place, basically uh, space landscapes, Martian landscapes, kind of stuff. A lot of uh, giant kind of robot things spinning around 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 and burning, shooting people, that kind of stuff. But it's really really good service, seriously. And I love the sound of the film, so the, the sharpness is amazing, the soundtrack is amazing as well. The soundtrack on this is stunning, seriously. So I synthesise the soundtrack on it, a bit like Tron Legacy. But what a film, seriously, believe me, I'm like Tom Cruise, really good film, so check it out, case. You can get it for a little, about three or four, three or four dollars, three or four pounds. Great film, seriously. Uh, um, Oblivion by Tom Cruise. The Blu ray in this is stunning good, so check out a 4K television, okay? Watch it 4K TV. It's a really good transfer, seriously, okay? Okay, what else have we got on here? I've got the other films over here. One for, for the mums and dads over there is Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby came out about 10 years ago, 2013, I think it was. Uh, this is Great Gatsby, starring, uh, of course, the great Leonardo DiCaprio, of course, one of those best actors, seriously. This one's really amazing, enough, seriously. Um, this is shot, of course, 1920s, uh, Long Island, of course, New York, isn't it? Based on the famous book, isn't it? By F. Scott Fitzgerald, of course. I love F. Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Love his books, okay? And of course, Great Gatsby is a real classic, great. F. Scott Fitzgerald as well, seriously. Great American writer, of course, along with Zernie Ernest Hemingway. F. Scott Fitzgerald was a great, great writer, American literature, seriously. And this film's really great, okay? This film's quite of like, a bit like Miriam Rue. Remember Miriam Rue, 20 odd years ago? Uh, with Baz Luhrmann made this, didn't it? Of course, Baz Luhrmann case made that kind of song and dance spectacular as Moulin Rouge. This is song and dance spectacular as well, okay? It's more, rather more the aesthetics of one of the more twenties, one of the more kind of cool, one of the more kind of like colourful, visual, beautiful kind of oceans and seas and beautiful landscapes and houses and, and ornate gardens, that kind of stuff, seriously. And the cat crew is really good as well. A lot of singing as well, seriously. The, again, the, the picture quality, this is first class. This is a, a, a tier zero Blu-ray set. Well, they call it tier zero Blu-ray, which is a top quality Blu-ray, tier zero Blu-ray. Um, tier 1 and Tier 0 already top quality Blu rays. This, as I say, this Blu ray, I got this for like £3 or I wouldn't spend £30 on 4K of this because this is really superb. But check out the 4K television again with your PS4 or regular player, whatever you really got there, and share how the good this film looks. This film looks amazing, seriously. This is great Gatsby, beautiful soundtrack, beautiful singing, beautiful music, beautiful visuals. I really recommend that one, seriously. Great Gatsby style, Leonardo DiCaprio, of course, okay? You know what, okay, what else we got here is we've got here, I want to pick up probably another good film that came out about uh, 10 years ago, this is Prometheus, came out, uh, Prometheus came out by a great director Willie Scott, came out about uh, two, 20, 10 years ago was it or so, 9 years ago, uh, this, is, this is Alien type movie, this is a prequel to Alien, of course Alien came out in 1979, great film, we've all seen Alien haven't we, remember Alien, okay, with Scorio, this film came out of course, uh, 2013, 2012, 2013 area, uh, directed by the great Willie Scott, British director, great Willie Scott, my favourite director, Willie Scott, seriously. And of course, have a look at this right now, the cover, it's a really good cover. This film did, did go down to where the cinema at the time, did quite well at the box office. This Blu ray again is a standard Blu ray, seriously. Blu ray is amazing, the quality is sharp, it's the depth, the inky blacks, the backs are really deep and dark, the skin tones are really good, the colours, like people's um, stub on the face, the beards, so we can see every single bit of the stub on the face, basically. You can see the spots, you can see everything on this, really amazing, seriously. The neon lights, the pop out of this, at so the beginning, of the, the, the people are lying in this kind of echo, the little chamber kind of things in yellow, the bathing in yellow, is very amazing. The beginning when the slip chamber thing is really beautiful as well at the beginning of the film as well. The ship at the end goes round and round, doesn't it? The big spaceship thing and that goes back crashing the earth, isn't it? In the film, you see the film, haven't you? The earth literally falls apart and separates, doesn't it? In the film, and of course, there's a really extraordinary scene, of course, where, the, where there's a, a lady has a cesarean. That's what I remember that. I say a cesarean section, but it's okay. You have to, to see the film, see, see the film seriously, okay? It's a good film, seriously. It's not frightening at all. It's just a little bit edgy. It's not particularly frightening. It's only a 15 movie, but it's a really good film. The, the quality of this is superb. I love the bit when they're in that kind of cave, isn't it? The alien kind of cave, and suddenly they put that 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 sort of. I think they press a kind of button by accident, and all those amazing kind of neon kind of lights fill the whole room and swirl around and around and around. Very good indeed, seriously. Check it out. Prometheus, good film, seriously. Underrated, okay? Sequel to prequel to Alien from 1979, okay? And it's, it's actually set in a uh, distant future, of course, but do check Prometheus out, seriously. Love the film, seriously. But the Blu ray is not a letdown. It's a fantastic quality depth Blu ray, beautiful depth colours, lights, blacky inks as well. Seriously, really good as well, okay?
like if you like Blaywell again, back on the Blaywell again over here. This is directed by not one but really Scott, directed by another person. I can't remember his name now. Denis Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. But Denis Villeneuve. Okay, this is really good movie, I guess. Seriously, this is Blade Runner 2049. Came out four years ago, 2017. Really good movie, seriously. I do love this movie indeed, seriously. It's not as good as I don't think it's good as original Blade Runner for 982. This came out 2017 after nearly 40 years of, of, of a hiatus between having Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. Went for the movie seriously. This again, this Blu ray is really good. Blu ray is really good. 4K, no, he's fantastic. This is 4K is good as well. 4K is about 20 pound. Get this for about five dollars or ten dollars. We're gonna get this for seriously. It's working in Blu ray. Blu ray is really good, seriously. That's really Beautiful. We've got amazing Hong Kong cities, you know, the cityscape, we've got the flings flying over the sky, looking down a neon kind of city kind of space escape, you know what I mean? Seriously, you've got a kind of like neon lights popping out again, people's faces again, beautiful clothing, you know, in this movie, seriously. You've got a soundscape, the soundtrack again with Hans Zimmer. It's a bit like Vangelis, basically, kind of copy of Vangelis, isn't it? Uh, Hans Zimmer soundtrack is fantastic, oh, seriously, okay, it's beautiful depth soundtrack. I remember my, 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 my literally, my, my subwoofer was buzzing, you know what I mean? When, when this is playing, so I think we're beginning, we're beginning when the ship flies over the futuristic kind of landscape of LA in the future, basically, whatever it is, you know. My, my subwoofer literally was buzzing, seriously, I mean, but I was like vibrating the whole room, seriously, you know what I mean? So it's really good, so check this out. This is playing on 24 9, really five star movie, okay? It's very impressive, quite a long movie, two, two hours, five minutes long, basically. Is it a good, I don't think it's good original. Harrison falls in it towards the second half of the film it's it's the main character of course is ryan Dawson, of course he's the main character of agent k and it's interesting it's something to do with that uh, I can't that writer was there. there's a famous writer wasn't there agent k it's something to do with that isn't it uh, but i can't remember his name it's basically it's based something to do with um, uh, kafka that's it to do with that with uh, kafka it's something to do, it's something to do agent k something to do with agent k with kafka so it's interesting to say if you read every kafka so this is interesting this is a lot of depth in this film seriously an amazing beautiful they have amazing six in the middle of the movie where this girl pops out who's called Joy, basically. She pops out as a great big hologram, basically, middle of the film, hologram. And he kind of, she kind of touches him, he touches her finger, sort of thing. And he's looking really kind of drained, but it's a really interesting giant hologram. Anyway, check this out, seriously. Holograms, neon. It's a great film, Blade Runner 249. It's a great movie, seriously. Amazing soundscape, amazing colors, amazing depth, amazing action sequences. Emotionally, a little bit kind of, not quite as good emotion as the original film, but it's very good indeed, seriously. I, re I recommend it. So if you want to say anything about it, leave a comment below if you want to say anything about Blade Runner 2049, okay? Okay, back onto the main film. We've got Fast and Furious. Fast and Seven, of course, really good. Fast and Seven came out five years ago, or so this is a great movie again. Seriously, I haven't seen Fast and Eight. to okay, I've seen the other films. Fast and Furious One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven. This is number seven, of course. Came out twenty seventeen. Okay, uh, seventeen, I think. Sixteen, I think it came out. Basically, this is a really good movie. Seriously, again, this is with Vin Diesel, of course. This is a great movie. So this is a great movie. Seriously, I did want to see this. I did want to see this movie. I did. I wasn't interested in seeing it really particularly. I like Fast and Six, but it came out. The film was even better than the movie. Series. These movies get better each time. I don't think they're basically Fast and Series. Okay, and it's really good indeed. Seriously. I do love it in the UK. You've got, um, Vin Diesel, the guys basically, of course. So the guy, the poor boy, Paul Walker, of course, you know, very tragic died, of course, didn't he? Do, he tired of filming this, or did you halfway through filming this film, seriously? So he appears, I think, as a CGI kind of thing in this, this movie, seriously, okay? But he's in the film. The film's very sad at the end because there's a bit of a try, um, a bit of a kind of like a, a sort of a kind of tribute, basically, to Paul Walker, basically. He was a great star, wasn't he? Died 2013, didn't he? I remember that very well, Andy. I, mean, I love cars myself, I'm really into cars myself, so this is a really interesting film to see. And of course, this, I think it's the second in the middle of the film where they, have, they kind of have a, a car flying out of an office space and flying right into another office space, basically, between two kind of skyscraper kind of things, okay? Skyscraper, skyscraper. Literally, a car leaps at skyscraper and goes another skyscraper, right? You know, it's that kind of thing, seriously. Sometimes are amazing, okay? There's amazing cars in this as well, usually, as usual, as you expect with this kind of stuff. But the picture quality is bar none, fantastic. It's a great one, tier zero, it's pretty great. The sharpness, the clarity, the picture image, the color of skins again, the texture of the car services, really shiny car services, okay, reflecting back in your eyes. Uh, it's a really good film, seriously. Soundtrack was really good as well in this series. Do, do check it out. I love the end. The ending is actually super ending when the helicopter shoots out. They literally have a helicopter shoot out with Dumont on Zoom, my baby gladiator. And with a helicopter flying over a city basically at night time and bombing the city and blowing things up with kind of missiles and this helicopter. A really really three metric depth as well, seriously. Quite three D as well, seriously, this film. So check it out. I like the bit with the helicopter and it's like a helicopter gun <laughs> uh, It's really good. Uh, just see the movie, seriously. Check it out. If you like explosions, car chases, guns, and a really good quality picture, and check out Fast Fast Forward 7, seriously. It's also one of the big movies of all time at the box office. I've made over a billion dollars or something in box office. That, that really big, big movie, seriously. Okay, on to other things as well. Of course, one of the Thing really special, okay. This is Life of Pi. Life of Pi, Life of Pi is a bit more tranquil than Fast Forward 7. This is Life of, Life of Pi. It came out, of course, about 10 years ago. Lovely film, 2013. This is by the famous, the famous book, of course. I remember the, remember the book who wrote the book. 
Um, it's a beautiful book, isn't it? It's called Life of Pi. It was made by a bloke called Ang Lee, basically. He made quite a few movies, including the Hulk back in back in the 90s and 2000s. Okay, remember the Hulk with him? Anyway, this is quite a movie series. Life of Pi is a beautiful movie. It's beautiful. It's set in obviously in India, basically. It's about a guy who who gets on board a, a boat with a tiger, basically, and has a lot of fun with the tiger. The tiger doesn't eat him. He eats everything else except him, basically. Okay, and the boy does. I mean, in the end, the boy kind of he gets away. With the, but the tiger gets away to, to freedom, basically. The boy doesn't get eaten by the tiger, basically. It's all about nature, the ravages and wildness of nature, basically. In the middle of the Indian Ocean, basically, on board this boat. The, the colours of this are beautiful. It's a beautiful film, seriously. It has beautiful Im images. I think of Delhi of India, basically, of, of stuff in India, basically things like some things like holy that kind of stuff in India. Beautiful images of India in in clothing, people are having. Kind of on um, boats and the Gandhi's kind of stuff and seriously beautiful stuff uh, kind of candlelight and they've got little uh, lights and kind of stuff uh, uh, around the boats in the middle of the Gandhi's river sort of stuff and uh, it's beautiful if you really love Indian culture well that kind of stuff beautiful Indian culture it's a lovely film a beautiful film sis. I love the kind of the ocean I love the way that when the, when the, I think the boy falls in the ocean gets sucked into the ocean and goes in a kind of vortex in the middle of the sea and then comes out of his dream basically in the middle of the film and also a bit with the tiger the tiger's all, it's all CGI actually the tiger looks really real seriously I think the tiger is CGI partly and even those graphics, it looks really amazing, seriously. This is a pinch-up picture, great, a tier zero Blu-ray, seriously, looks fantastic, seriously, I'll have a buy. Beautiful film, one of them made me cry, seriously, so beautiful, okay. It's about nature, of course, about the sea, about a uh, little boy, basically. It's a really brilliant film, seriously, do check that out, I'll have a buy. Underrated movie again, seriously, back in 2013. But this Blu-ray is a stunner, seriously, for about three or four pounds, get this Blu-ray, seriously, I'll have a buy. It looks fantastic, won't be disappointed at all. Be the image is beautiful, crisp kind of colours, beautiful colours, beautiful depth, beautiful black, inky black as well, seriously, beautiful three-dimensional depth as well. The colours of the sea look amazing. Seriously, check it out. Get it on your 4K television with your Blu-ray player. Basically, check it out on 4K TV. It looks amazing. Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna pick up one of the best of all time. Seriously, this is one of the best of all time. Seriously, this is probably the number one of all time I've ever seen. This is Transformers. Yes, Transformers. Seriously, this is Transformers Last Night, of course, came out, of course, about uh, three or four years ago. Transformers Last Night. Okay, look at that over there. Seriously, again, Transformers are already good. There's five Transformers films, of course, by Michael Bay. Basically, Michael Bay made the Pearl Harbor, didn't he? That kind of stuff. Seriously, back in the day, this film was better than Pearl Harbor. Basically, remember Pearl Harbor? Remember that? Seriously, 20 years ago, this film was even better. Seriously, this is obviously this is obviously Transformers 3D, of course, or regular Transformers Last Night. This film was really good, actually, but they were not seriously. This film was really good. And in fact, I wouldn't even think it's going to be a load of rubbish. It's actually a really good film, actually, seriously. This film is spectacular. This is grade A Blu-ray, seriously. For regular Blu-ray, I got this for th four pounds, it looks for four or five dollars. This film was amazing, seriously. Amazing skies, you've got stuff in the middle of space, you've got space flights, you've got, um, and we've got like, people, I uh, think, going around Oxford for some reason, you've got people, you've got like, giant kind of robots in the middle of country state houses, you've got, I mean, amazing stuff, seriously. You've got, you've got this film at the end, they've got this sort of battle up by Stonehenge, basically, in the film, basically. And they have a sailing spaceship and all that, and they're fighting on that. And then they have this battle, and they have this battle above Stonehenge. And suddenly, all the bits of the spaceships break up and fall on Stonehenge. But it's good, seriously. It's really good, seriously. And it's, I mean, really, really dimensional. The dimensionality depth in this is amazing, seriously. This is the best I've ever seen in my life. This Blu ray, even for about, even the 4K, I know the 4K is really good for about £30. But it gets for £5. This is amazing. This is this is Transformers The Last Night, seriously. Good film, seriously. It's obviously regular 2 year 3D, okay? The, the quality, the imagery, the colour of the grasses, the colour of the skies, the colours of the, the armaments, and the Transformers look really good. The details, the patterns of transforms are really sharp, really up in front of your eye. Spaceship's really good, okay. Um, what can I say about it, basically? I think this stars also the actor, of course, isn't it? And, uh, what's his name again? The very, very famous actor, okay. Remember, he played Hannibal Hannibal Lecter, he's in this as well, isn't he? He's in it as well, seriously. I can't even see the name on here. But anyway, it's all very good indeed, seriously. Anthony Hopkins, also, that's his name, I think, isn't it? But it's a really good film, seriously. Check it out, really, really check it out, seriously. This is uh, Blue, uh, Transformers, the last night, okay, came out four years ago. This is, honestly, well, this is sound stage, is amazing. This technically is amazing, this film, as well. There's a lot of IMAX, IMAX as well, seriously. And like Aquaman, the IMAX is amazing, this seriously, okay. The IMAX is half the movie's IMAX, basically, so it looks really, really good indeed, like, okay. And the IMAX adds a dimension to it as well, seriously. Check out, because get this movie. Whatever you want to see, if you want to get one Blu ray list on the whole of this list, seriously. With, with, get this movie seriously. Transformers Last Night, okay, 2017. It looks amazing, okay. It may be a bit of a weird picture in some way, silly picture, but it is a really good movie, seriously. Transformers Last Night, the picture's stunning, okay. I cannot go on about details, the depth, the colour, the three dimensionality, enough of this movie, seriously. Get this movie. Transformers Last Night, best of all of, of all time I've ever seen, seriously. Along with Aquaman, probably. They're probably the best two movies I've ever seen in my life, seriously. Aquaman I got for four or five pounds. That's amazing, seriously, as well, seriously, okay. Okay, the movie's right over here. Look at the one over here. The film's right over here, of course. This is Oldie. This is Newspeak. Newspeak came out like seven odd years ago. This a bit like a Fast and Furious again. Again, a lovely picture again, seriously. This film's a kind of Fast, fast and Furious kind of rip-off, basically. It's a good film, seriously. You kind of get a boy and a girl romance, and they steal a car, go drive through the across America, basically, in a kind of a car, basically. And they get involved in various races around America, basically. Again, the picture's really good. This came out in 2014. It was a 
doesn't make it the cinema stars. Aaron Paul, okay, and Dominic Cooper. We're good films, seriously, okay. Um, I, I do really love it. It's actually got not many big stars in it, seriously. I think the other person is from here, also the film as well. It's got people in it as well. Aaron Paul's in it, uh, Imogen Poots as well, it says over here. Uh, Ramon Rod Rodriguez. It's a really good film, seriously. Check it out, okay. This is Nathan Spillier. It was a bit flop of the box, so it's a good film, seriously. Whether you cars or not, the film looks amazing as well, seriously. The colours are amazing. The colours, reflection of the cars are amazing. The sleek colours of patterns of paint works really amazing on the film, seriously. Uh, the, the, the soundtrack's amazing, seriously. Beautiful DTX, what a 5.1 soundtrack as well, seriously. Really, really good. It'll make the subwoofer buzz, 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 basically as well. Um, what can I say? Great film, seriously. I love the way the, the early film they have a kind of party in the middle of nowhere, middle of a, some city somewhere, and the smoke comes out, different kind of colours around the cars. It looks really good, seriously. This is another tier zero blue, seriously. It's sharp as sharp as a Pin, sharp as a knife, colours and density is good. Three really matches really good as well, seriously. Uh, so this, this looks amazing, seriously. It came out seven odd years ago. Need for speed, okay. Lovely soundtrack, lovely, lo lovely images, lovely colour space, lovely depth, good skin quality, good pore quality, uh, lovely kind of colours and neons jumping out skin. So check us out, really do check it out soon. Need for speed, good film, love the soundtrack as well, seriously, okay. Go and soundtrack as well, seriously on it. Check it out, okay. Recommend this film, Need for Speed. If you're into that kind of stuff, cars kind of stuff, it's really good. Need for speed, okay, came out seven odd years ago. Check it out as well, seriously. A uh, couple of movies while over here, got an old gold. This is this is of course the Terminator. Terminator came out of course 984, okay. This is a really old film. This film this is being redone up by James Cameron. James Cameron course, made many, many, many movies because he made Titanic as well, and of course Aliens as well, and of course Titanic is a big film, isn't it? Obviously, and obviously made Avatar as well, didn't he? About ten years ago, remember Avatar? Okay, Avatar is a big, big movie, seriously, isn't it? Okay, this movie's I thought this movie's better than Avatar, seriously. Okay, this is the Terminator. This is a big film, seriously. It came out of course forty years ago, nine eight four, basically nearly forty years ago. Starring of course the Arnold Schwarzenegger, good Arnold Schwarzenegger over there, and of course Arnie does as well. Michael Bain's in it, okay, Linda Hamilton as well, Paul Winfield as well in it, seriously. Stan Winston special effects as well, and that kind of stuff. But this film is amazing. This film is amazing, seriously. It's quite a gritty film, isn't it? Made the Terminator, isn't it? Not for kids, really. It's 18, 18 or 18 movie, basically. It's got a 15 here for some reason. No, it's an 18 movie series, isn't this one, isn't it? Uh, special effects look really good, as I say. Uh, the bit at the end, of course, when he's running away and the, the girls are being chased by the Terminator, isn't he, through that factory? Very good indeed, seriously. And when the Terminator gets squashed, doesn't he, by that kind of metal press kind of thing. Very good indeed, seriously. You've seen the film, haven't you? It's a cult film, seriously. Terminator, okay. This looks really good, for an old film, it's been, done, it's been scanned, I think, to 4K and then put back, basically, back. Blu ray basically, so it looks really good indeed, seriously. On and it's a good Blu ray, seriously. And finally, of course, after worse movies and recommend I'll just do more movies right over here. I'll do more of one over here, which of course is Mission Post. Mission, Mission Post before that came out about three or four years ago. Another, another good uh, movie again. The 4K, 4K, this apparently is really good, apparently as well. Really, really good, seriously. This, of course, is Tom Cruise, of course, as usual. It's five star movie, okay. Really good movie indeed, seriously. Again, this film, a bit like a bit, a bit like we had with um. I blame well, I'm sorry, with uh, what we had a bit early, which is uh, the dark last night. This movie again is from uh, predominantly in the IMAX, well, at times. An awful lot of IMAX in this as well, seriously. Check out the IMAX one, seriously, okay? A lot of IMAX in there. Uh, Mission Bush before that, okay, with uh, Tom Cruise, of course, came out three or four years ago, before the pandemic, of course, seriously. Uh, good action tickets as well, seriously. Some a lot of this film are in underground kind of tunnels around London here for some reason, okay. But the depth's amazing, the depth's amazing. Look at this, you know, the depth's really amazing, seriously. And the neon depth is really good, seriously. Very few mentioned these, seriously. The end of the film ends up, of course, after some big action sequences in, in Paris, well, seriously. The film ends up, of course, at the end, of course, with a big kind of helicopter kind of thing in the middle of the kind of the Alps or something in, in France or something. And there's a lot of snow, a lot of mountains, okay, helicopters flying around the place, seriously. It's a good film, so check that's good. This is Mission Impossible 4. I really good from seriously, okay. Blue Ray's amazing, seriously, there's okay. Quality really good. Pit, very sharp image as well. Depth's really good as well, seriously. Neons and everything pop out really well, innit? And the clothes are really good as well. You can see all every pores in the skin, pores in the bits of hair, basically, really, really clearly on this. Um, check it out, okay. It's been probably been shot on an 8K or 4 to 8K kind of felt, uh, original with the edit, the same way it's shot in cinema, shot with cameras, that kind of really high direct dimension kind of thing. But anyway, there's also been really well put onto Blue Ray this, but it's really good from seriously. Check it out, Mission Impossible 4. An awful lot of stuff about film, seriously. Check it out. And that's really good. Hope you enjoyed that set, okay. There's also really good films there to see. Blade 249, we've got John Wick over there as well. We've got Need for Speed, okay. We've got Terminator 984, we've got Fast and Force 7 as well, it's really good, okay. Blade 249, we've got uh, Prometheus, Ray Gatsby, okay. Blue in the case, so Tom Cruise, Tom, Tom Cruise moving there says as well. And so, good stuff. So, check out, I hope you really enjoyed that, okay. As I say, I'm going to get back into my, back into my regular area of doing magic illusion stuff, as I normally really, really do. However, I hope you enjoyed the day. Get yourself 4K television, get yourself, uh, get yourself your, your player, basically, your PS4, you play when they usually really, really want your sandbox, you want to do seriously and get yourself um, up to 4K basically, get yourself uh, some of these Blu-ray Blu movies. You don't need to spend a fortune, seriously, you can get regular Blu-rays for about four or five pound and get these uh, some of the Blu-rays basically, get these uh, basically onto your player, 4K television, get yourself some really good pictures, seriously, okay, you really need to them. And it really is worth it, seriously. I hope you enjoyed that, okay, but please remember to please like, subscribe, please do, okay. I hope you have, please subscribe, I hope you have, please do, okay. If you need some more subscriptions, please do, okay. But generally, of course, I'm doing a lot of magic stuff, so as you know, seriously. Check out my videos as well, but I've 80 videos of magic, right, seriously, okay, across the channel, seriously
look at this again and uh, see you again very very soon okay once you subscribe please subscribe and see you again very soon again with some more magic as well and chat illusions as well look after yourself see you again very soon indeed bye for now